going to the fair with us. We have to wear a collar. See, I'm wearing one. And a leash, too. Now that leash is hanging right up here. Oh, here it is. He's getting impatient. Is everything locked up? Tight as a drum. Good. I hope Seth is ready. We're getting a late start as it is. He's been having a lot of trouble with that truck of his. I told him last week he ought to get it overhauled. Well, I'm glad we can take him. Hi, Seth. Hello, Seth. I was just fixing up some new roosts. Are those prize leghorns you're planning to buy? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some beauty. Well, where's Uncle Petrie? Oh, he left for the fair at the crack of dawn to help Irv Simmons with his prize hogs. How's Bertha? Oh, fine. She's in the kitchen. Just made a batch of cookies for us to take along. <laughs> well, hi, Lassie. You going to the fair, too? Too bad she won't be able to go inside. But she's going to wear her collar and leash. Well, didn't you hear about the new law? No dogs allowed on the fairgrounds, on account of some trouble they had the last time. Too many dogs or something. You'll have a nice ride anyway. You can wait in the car for us. And you won't have to wear your collar and leash after all. <laughs> I'll tell Bertha that you're here. Bertha, the Martins are here. Oh, just in time. I was getting some cookies ready for them. Uh, they've got Lassie along. Well, didn't they know that dogs are not allowed on the fairgrounds? I guess not. I just told them. Mom, can I go in and see Mrs. Collins Menez... Menez... Do you know what I mean? Yes, menagerie. Yeah, that's right. Menez... Zoo. <laughs> she showed it to me once. Her sister owns a pet shop. And she sends Mrs. Collins all the sick ones. Because she's so good at taking care of them. Yes, I know. I think it's a good idea if we all go in to see Bertha. How would it be if Lassie stayed here with you? Then she wouldn't have to be cooped up in the car all afternoon. Oh, I'd like to, Seth. But keeping a dog around all those pets, even a dog as nice as Lassie, might scare them to death. Well, you get that tied up and ready to go. I'll pick some fruit to take along. Mm -hmm. Too. Can't you hear? Well, Lassie wouldn't hurt them. She's a good dog. Lassie, good dog. See? They're just saying hello. Aren't they, Mom? How oh, nice to see you again, Bertha. Well, <laughs> don't you folks look wonderful. We've come to get your man. He went to get some fruit. And I baked some cookies for you to take along. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Mrs. Collins? Oh, yes, what? Is that a new pet? Oh, <laughs> Now, isn't she a darling? Pretty chipper, or your mama's baby, pretty chipper. Ah! 
A real monkey. No, he's a baby chip, and he was a sick one, too. Right at death's door, he was. But he's getting over that nasty old pneumonia, aren't you, chippy baby? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> she fusses more over this one than she does over me. Now you hush, Seth Collins. I won't have you hurting Chipper's feelings. <laughs> it's all right. Lassie wouldn't do anything to him. Oh, of course she wouldn't. Nor do any of your other pets either. I think they'd get along just fine. Well, maybe they'd do with that. See, I have an idea. Lassie wouldn't have any fun being locked up in a hot car all day. Now, why don't you leave her here with me? Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Bertha. Well, how about it, Timmy? Lassie will have lots of company. How about it, Lassie? <laughs> Gracious, what did she say? Yes, I think. <laughs> then it's all right, Bertha? Oh, of course. Once he gets those fancy roosters to fuss over, he won't be so quick to tease me about Chipper. At least a chicken's good for something. <laughs> Sit down, you talk. Come on, we've got a long drive ahead of us. You be a good dog. And do everything Mrs. Collins tells you to. Okay? <laughs> okay. He talks pretty well. Yeah, pretty chipper, or your mama's baby. Pretty chipper. Ah. Pretty well. Too well. <laughs> bye bye, Bertha. Thanks very bye. much. Bye. 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 Well, now, baby chipper, you better get back in your cage and take a nice little nap. Because we don't want you to get sick again, huh? Betty bye, or your pretty baby, Betty bye. Huh? Oh, your pretty baby. Bye. Betty bye. That's right, go to Betty bye. <laughs> oh, your pretty baby. Be quiet, Chatterbox. Ooh, you want to see too? Well, those are fan tales. Are they pretty? <laughs> These are parakeets. And these furry things are hamsters. <laughs> Don't you think they're cute? <laughs> and this is Billy. Billy, how about a little song for Lassie? <laughs> Come on. And over here, well, this is a minor bird. He comes from India. How about a whistle, Pete? Uh -huh. Can you talk? Can you talk? Now, Chipper, don't tell me that you're getting jealous of Lassie. You're still Mommy's baby, don't you know that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Time for your oatmeal. Maybe that's why you're fussing. Uh, Lassie. That's right. Lie down. Be a good dog. Here. I'll get it right away. Just a minute. Good gracious, Lassie. What have you done? 
small child up like this. There's enough room under there for two dogs. You've been in the house before. You ought to be able to behave better than this. Well, that's a good girl. Now you lie down there and keep out of trouble. You all right, baby? Goodness, your oatmeal. Oh, my. I'll get it right away. Now, Lassie, you understand. You behave till I get back. You can come out now, Chipper. <laughs> Chipper? <laughs> he must have got 
gotten out of his cage. <laughs> It wasn't you at all. Goodness, we've got to do something. Oh, maybe I can crawl out. I were just a little bit thinner. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Help! I'm sorry I was nasty, Lassie. <laughs> Lassie! Lassie! Where are you going? Lassie! Lassie! Come back! I said I was sorry. I really am. Lassie! Please! Please come back, Lassie! <laughs> Ah! Ah! Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. 
pretty boy. Cut it out. Cut it out, pretty boy. Ah! Kipper! Kipper, what are you doing? You naughty little imp. Get back in your cage this instant. <laughs> now stop it. Go on. Go on. Chipper, where are you going? What are you doing? Chipper! Chipper, come here. Chipper! 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 Chipper, you catch your death of cold. Chipper, that Lassie didn't... Oh, that Lassie didn't leave you here, you know that? You're a good dog, Lassie. Now, you see, Lassie, Chipper's really trying to be friends. <laughs> things out so as they can stretch their legs. That's my wife for you. Next thing you know, she'll be talking to him. <laughs> and you, you little imp. Oh, you're all ready to go back to the store. I think she's telling us she's ready to go home. How was our girl? Oh, an angel. A positive angel. Didn't I tell her she'd be good? I think Lassie had just as nice a time right here. Oh, I'm sure she did. We had a lot of things to keep us busy, didn't we, Lassie? Thank you, Bertha. Do come see us soon, will you? Well, I'll try. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Paul. Bye bye, Lassie. Good doggy. Bye bye, Lassie. Good dog. You're better than good. You're the best dog that anybody ever had. <laughs> 